So from the policyholder's perspective, I'm paying in here the Whole Life 100 product, $100,000 per year. Where is the money going? Because when I design a policy for maximum cash value, again, where can it go? Toward the premium or toward the PUA rider. Now, why this PUA is $89,000 and change is because we have a one-year term insurance rider attached. This is a blended PUA. This provides a lot of flexibility, gradually increases. We leave it on actually for 15 years in this example to prevent a mech, but main takeaway, so I don't overcomplicate things, is if this is you, here's what you've paid, the annual outlay column, 100K per year for 10 years. There's your cash value, crossover point between years six and seven, stop funding all together after the 10th year. What this represents on the left, years 11 through 15, we see the base premium. You also see the cost of the term insurance rider here. This is the base premium and term insurance rider that still do, but you are not paying it. So if I pull it up here, we'll see the same thing. Here's the premium, here's the total payment, 100K per year. This is our whole life 100 product. You'll see everything match the actual uh, spreadsheet we just looked at, cash values and such. Look at your annual outlay here, zero beginning year 11. And then you see this annual surrender of $10,000. What that again represents is the base premium that's still due, but you as the policy holder are not paying it out and the policy is paying for itself through dividends and interest. Mouthful I gave you there, any questions on that? Very clear, very clear. So uh, just to recap, that was a 1090 split on an L100. And all we did was just increase the numbers to say funding 100 grand. The, the numbers would be identical on say funding 10 grand pretty much, yep. right? Uh, obviously the cost and all that goes down. But the same idea in terms of funding period length, uh, in this case, you're only paying into it for 10 years, right? So it assumes like a, a, a 10 pay design. Uh, but in order to prevent the mech, the term rider has to stay on for an additional five more years as well as the base, then it clears out. In this example, yes. It, it is right. possible to design it where you can drop the term after, term after the 10th year. Um, just we found this way is often a bit more efficient because we're funding right up to the mech limit. So sometimes we design it where we cut it after 10 years, depends on the individual's preference. Cool. Yeah. But then we've got the high early cash value product. Right. 40% base premium. 60% PUA rider, total payment of 100K per year, just about 88% right out of the gates with a 40 60. We'll look at the 1090 next, the higher early that is. But we see more cash value immediately. Break even point, very similar between years six and seven. You've got more cash value day one, which anyone who's just looking at this purely cash value, I think I pay money into a policy, it begins to compound right away, so I should have more money long-term with the example I have up front, or with the example that I've got more up front, which is the case if all things are equal from product to product. <laughs> Not quite here. Right, so, these, are, these are technically two different products, L100 traditional yep. and a Heck V design. Heck V comes it. out the gate strong, but yep. then starts to phase out. And then Correct. the L100 starts off a little bit less, but ends up beating in the long term. And we can see Correct. that in even years, you know, the 20, 30, you know, as you get further and further, 2.5 million as opposed to 2.3 million at age 69. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Correct. And it does become significant over time. But again, I mean, this is me just trying to be fair to, in this case as well. The reason why this whole life 100 is stronger long term, because we've got a lower base premium in the beginning. Like we've got expenses that are it's 10% of the total payment instead of 40%. So yeah, what I would do really for a fair comparison and without going back and forth, just keep this in mind. Year 20, your cash value with that L100 product is 1.67 million. And now we're looking at a Heck V 1090, yeah. which is an apples to apples comparison of Got a 4060 Heck V. Cor correct. And the 1090 Whole Life 100. We've got more of a, the design is identical here. That's a real comparison, in my opinion. Same out of pocket, 92% right out of the gates. There's your crossover point, breaking even between years four and five. All we've done here is maximize the value from start to finish. Year 20, you've got the 171. We can look at any point in time. Let me do this. So on the left, let me just start at the top. Higher early 4060. On the right, higher early 1090. Let's just go to 870. And what do you notice from a cash value difference standpoint? 
Japão. It's noticeable, right? Yeah. And the fascinating, yeah, what's so fascinating about this is now you've got the same company, same product, same health ratings, same out of pocket, everything's identical except for where the money is going. So here's just to validate 100K per year going in, high early cash value product, $10,000 base premium. You'll notice those values are identical to the spreadsheet. So all we do, do is just pull the values from the illustration and export them. And then here's your 4060. Got so, it. Yeah. So now the client and those are watching who are looking to put a policy in place for themselves, their spouses, their kids, you name it. When they are looking at quote unquote infinite banking concept, become your own banker, tax free banking, cash flow banking, all these marketing terms and all these philosophies, which are great, right? Different ways of doing things and ideas and stuff. But if we put all that to the side and now just focus in on where does my money go dollar by dollar, line by line, expense by expense, wouldn't that help me make a better financial decision? Me being the client, it's my money, not the agents. I know exactly where the dollars are going. And I also have a clear understanding of how my agent is being compensated and what that relationship uh, will look like will potentially look like that. That gives a clear understanding. I know exactly how much my agent's gonna make uh, based on those designs, at least just looking at Mass Mutual. But uh, whoever, whomever you're working with, you could obviously, you know, ask what those um, commission numbers are. Uh, this, and you can kind of run it yourself, base it off this video and kind of see, well, okay, well, every whole life insurance company basically works like this. They have a base premium percentage payout which increases based on the volume that your agent is doing. So they're getting rewarded, right? And then there's a smaller commissionable payout on a yearly basis, usually up to 10 years, no longer than that. Some go longer for the most part, stops right at 10. And that number is like 2%, maybe three, something like that. Um, and when we're looking at L100 or a heck V design, if my intent as the client is to have as much cash value day one upfront, and I only plan on funding it for a set period of time, say 10 years, well then just looking at math, not people's opinions or philosophies here, math shows that based on how insurance companies reward the agents and how they charge for the insurance itself, you're gonna have more cash value up front with that 1090 uh, heck V design, right? As opposed to an L100, right? And right. Um, and so you have more cash value up front, but not necessarily long term. Is that correct? Do I have that as, as it relates to an L100? So that means the client needs to think, you know, what is my likelihood? Am I gonna fund this till I'm 95 years old? Like. Do I really plan on doing that or even 75 or even 65? If I only, if I'm 40 years old and I just want to put cash over here and store it for the next, you know, 10, 15 years or so, does it make sense for me to be paying extra costs to have the ability to fund for an additional 15 more years, 20 years? The answer might be yes. And if that's yeah. the case, go, go, you're going to want to go with the L100 or else you're going to get, you're going to be uh, dragging the performance on a heck V design design right got it. yeah you got right. it. okay cool mm -hmm. yeah and sometimes it, sometimes a higher early cash value now a couple of years ago this was not the case but now it can even it often does outperform a whole life 100 long term like what we do is just show them side by side if someone's interested and that way they can decide what option is, is best for them got it got it yeah mm -hmm. that's cool. Good.